<laughs> Shut up, Chris. It's just Josh. <laughs> just <laughs> God damn. Will you please explain? <laughs> Sorry, <yeah. laughs> Dude, he's already spilling beer on me. I'm glad we did this interview now and not 10 minutes from now. <laughs> Welcome to Keeping It Dookie. <laughs> with Josh, with Matt Redbeard, and uh, sorry. Today we have uh, one of the co owners of Savage Henry Magazine and uh, the local stand up comic, um, Josh Dude. Oh. And for people who don't know who you are, we please explain to the people who you are uh, and what you do. Well, before I was the guy that spilled beer on Matt, yeah. I, uh, uh, so I'm really, I, I feel bad about that. Uh, <laughs> But uh, no, uh, you know, I, I formed the magazine with Chris and and Sarah and Monica and and uh, and, I, and I wrote for a couple of newspapers before that and uh, yeah. What newspapers? The Arcade Eye and the oh. Times Standard. Oh shit! Yeah, those Woo. those were papers. Those were papers that were released on a regular basis that I wrote for, and words were printed that, that I wrote. <laughs> exactly. Yes. That's where fucking. Um, are you related to Raul Duke? No, because that is a made-up person, and I am not related to made-up people, because I am a real person. <laughs> what about what about that racist senator guy? What was that guy's name? Oh, David Duke? Da are you related to David Duke? I hope I'm not, but I, I don't think I am. I well, think even if you, if you were related, that doesn't make you a racist. No, but it means that I have to answer that question a lot. I'm, uh, I'm feeling pretty lucky tonight. This is a great night. You're a great crowd. But you know why I'm feeling lucky? Because I'm wearing my lucky underwear. Yeah. Then again, I'm always wearing my lucky underwear. My wife is beginning to think that this is a problem. But then again, who's the one getting lucky? This guy. <laughs> Sushi, what's up with that? It's a food. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I have a funny story about sushi. OK, that's what, so, <laughs> that's what I wanted to hear. Actually, it's not super. It's not really about sushi, but I was working with this dumbass broad, and uh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> no, actually, she was, was she was a very nice girl. But uh, I remember we were all talking about food one time. We were on break at work. It was like a group of five or six of us, and she said the words, "My favorite meat is sushi," and I thought oh, that was the most hilarious yeah. shit in the world. Uh, That's my story about sushi. Oh, uh, thank you for sharing. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good story. So, high school kids, fucking assholes, am I right? <laughs> can you say that? Can he even say that? Are we replacing that? No. Uh, yeah, yeah, so I think what he's referring to is I work with high school children. Uh, they are technically minors, some of them anyway. Uh, but they're assholes. Oh, yeah, they're, they're, they're crazy. Good. They're they're nuts. <coughs> Actually, still my favorite memory or my favorite story about one of the kids I work with She's she's actually seven months pregnant right now, but uh, uh, she comes up to me and she's like she's working on some math and then she goes, "Hey Josh, can you help me? I need to find the comma button on my calculator." Uh, I remember that story. And I was like, <laughs> I uh, and then I smacked her <laughs> and I said, "No." You know this is going on the internet, right? No, no okay. No, but, uh, no uh, it, it was it was bad. I, I didn't know how to react to that. Because I'm like, um, obviously, I, I wanted to like congratulate her for knowing that commas go in numbers. Right. But <laughs> uh, I, I'm a bit of a booze snob, though. I like fine things if I can afford them, and even when I can't. And uh, but I really like top shelf beer. I like having a nice, you know, crafted ale or lager, you know. But I know that everything has a time and a place. You know, you drink PBR when you want to, like, ride a fixed gear bicycle and talk about the new Mastodon record. Uh, you drink Budweiser when you don't know any better. Uh, you drink uh, hams when payday is next week and you have to buy your beer in laundry quarters. You know. Uh, but there is one beer that has no time or place or reference to anything. No one should ever, ever consume this stuff, and that is Steel Reserve. Steel Reserve is so shitty that even Sidelines doesn't serve it. <laughs> if someone asks you to put your dukes up, do you A, <laughs> throw your fist up, B, throw a, throw a Dino up, throw your, dinner, throw your dinner up, or C, give your children up for adoption? 
Uh, I go D, where I find two other members of my family, and I put them in front of me to, 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 to absorb the blows, who are also dukes. Whoa! Yeah. That's a fucking solid answer from John's Duke, people. <laughs> God damn. So, basically, like, my sister and my mom. Did you know you're the Duke of Henry? Is that is that how it works now? Am I the Duke? I'm the Duke of Henry? Yeah. Actually, you know what's weird? When I was in the, <laughs> when I was in the third grade, my best friend was this kid named Patrick Earl. What a dick. Yeah, but, of course, <laughs> that that Duke of Earl joke, man, lasted all year. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like, Fuck those kids, It's like man. the 17 mats that went to my fucking school my whole fucking <laughs> life. And I had to be Matt P. Hey, 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 hey. Even though my last name's Redbeard. We're not here to tell more stories. No, we're not. Yeah. We're bitter, though. We're bitter. You know this going on the internet, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Uh. The marketing geniuses over at the Steel Reserve Company, whoever that happens to be, have decided to broaden their horizons, and they have made blackberry-flavored Steel Reserve <laughs> for the lady hobo and all of us. <laughs> and I thought, man, actually, this is really smart because they somehow figured out that they combine the homeless fruit with the homeless beer into this wonder wonderful synergistic, you know, combination. And I was wondering, like, man, how do you do market research for that? How did they figure out that blackberry is the is the fruit to put in Steel Reserve. And I was thinking they probably did it like all Nat Geo style, and they like set up cameras and they observed him from like several thousand meters away, and they saw some like drunken homeless guy shambling about with a forty of Steel Reserve in tow, and another one that was going the opposite direction with a handful of blackberries, and they ran into each other, and they're like, hey. You spilled steel reserve in the blackberries. The other one's like drunkenly like, hey, you dropped the blackberries in my arm. You know? <laughs> and they're like, bingo, you know. <laughs> Meanwhile, some poor like intern at the company is like, but sir, we could put mangoes in there. And they're like, no. And they slap them on the back of the head. And they're like, they don't know what those are. <laughs> <laughs> they want that thing that grows by the railroad tracks. <laughs> Do you have anything coming up? No, you know, I'm not going to answer that question because I want this interview to be timeless. Uh, do you have a... Do you, do you, do you, have a you have Twitter. I have Twitter. What's your fucking Twitter? Uh, it, I am at... You know, I will say the at. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, I am at Bonus McHustle. B-O-N-U-S-M-C-H-U-S-T-L-E. <laughs> Why is that funny? That is my high school nickname. So. Your high school nickname was actually Bonus McCuzzle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I read Savage Henry because I'm vain and I read the thing that I write. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, so thank you, Josh, for being on the show that You're welcome. you guys are making me do. Uh, <laughs> I will, we'll catch you next time with somebody else. Thank you.